<laughs> right, when are you ready, guys? Okay, well, this afternoon we had our final pre-season friendly a season against, uh, against Gosport Borough, who are two leagues above us, Conference, uh, Conference South, so a real good workout today. And I thought in the first half, we did really, really well. As an observer, I'm sure you'd have found it difficult to know which was the, the better side. Must have been pleased with the boys in the first half. Yeah, very pleased. We started with a good tempo, and we passed the ball really, really well, and um, two fabulous goals. One ball missing. So, yeah, absolutely delighted to start with this. Yeah. So, the, the two goals that Matthew talked about, the first one came on 14 minutes when there was a terrific crossfield ball from, from Scotty to Sam Basin down the left. He cut in and was taken down for a penalty which yeah. Billy dispatched really, really well. Yeah, lo lovely move um, and a definite penalty. I know a few of their players weren't too sure if it was, but like, to me it was a, a stone penalty. Yeah, and Billy nice and calm, he slotted it away, so deserved lead. It was, it was. And at that time we'd really got our passing game together. I thought the way we built it up from the back, through midfield, up to the lads up front, yeah. was, was excellent. Just what you want, I should think. Yeah, yeah, lovely play. And um, the, the boys are full of confidence at the moment. Uh, they're good players. We keep saying to them, believe in yourselves, you know, keep playing, trust each other. And it's a short pass, we've seen something a bit longer. Uh, and the new goals sort of summed it up, really. Yep. Um, you know, nice bit of play, I picked it up and just hit it. I don't know how far out it was, but uh, yeah, it was 20 yards, possibly a bit more. Oh, uh, I think it was a bit more. A bit more. This was, <laughs> This was um, uh, on about 28 minutes and, and Luke picked the ball up yeah. and he just smacked it in from the old inside left position for me and that was a terrific finish again. Wasn't it? But that's not the first goal we've seen from that sort of distance in the pre-season games. No, we, we encourage him to, to be confident on the ball if they, if they see a shot, you know, shoot, if not, you know, keep working the ball uh, and then take it on board. But again, the, the second goal was uh, not against one of play at all, it was uh, justified and deserve a 2 0 lead. Yeah, absolutely. So after after half an hour, we were 2 0 up and almost cruising, really, weren't we? And we continued to play really well. Um, Gosport had to bring on a substitute keeper, which was actually one of the outfield players yep. that went in about five or so minutes before half time. And then, 40 minutes, we, we gave away, I thought, a fairly soft goal. It was down um, the Gosport left, one of the experienced players just pushed it inside and a nice lob over Pat into the, into the goal. So it was 2-1 at half time, which I thought was a bit harsh on us. I think 2-0 would have been a, a, a good score at that time. Yeah, but I think the, the opposition we were playing, two leagues above us, and the sharpness of their players, you can expect them to have some sort of dominant pressure on us in the first half. It didn't quite come, I was quite surprised really, yeah. uh, until you know, we got two up and then maybe we got a little bit complacent. Um, yeah, we did give it a soft goal away at the wrong time. Um, you know, we, we can't grumble. We did match him for well, all that half, uh, and you did expect really that something might happen along them lines. But no, I can't grumble. You know, mistakes will happen against these teams at this level. Uh, we take that one on the chin. Yeah. I was sitting near some of the Gosport fans and we asked them, is this your first team or what, you know, is it, what is it today? And they said, yep, it was mostly our first team. And in the first half, we, we more than matched them. I thought we played really, really well. So it was two on at half time. And then you just wonder what's going to happen in the second half. Gosport have to get better. I imagine Pikey had a few words with them. They seem to be closer to us in the second half, maybe up the tempo. Yeah, they did, and we knew that's going to happen. You know, we have to give them total respect. We just said, try and go out and play the same way. Don't change anything. They will come on, do pressure, uh, keep trying to play your passes. Uh, we got caught a couple of times. We expect that. Uh, but I think, um, you know, once they went ahead, what was pleasing for me is that the character was tremendous. You know, they never give up. It could have been four, five, six, but this team got that to dig deep. Uh, and at the end, we fair, we finished a stronger team the last 10, 15. Yeah, yeah we, we, we did. The, the, the story of the game was that five minutes into the second half, Gosport got their second and they had a, a big centre forward. Is that Ben Wright? I think he must have a really experienced guy and, and he scored. And then after about 20 minutes of the second half, Warren Bentley, who uh, some of us will remember from last season, that tremendous uh, game against Winchester here when we lost 6-5, Warren Bentley um, scored. And again, that was a bit of a soft goal. We almost gave the ball to him. And when he gets it, you know he's going to go for it. So it was 3-2. It was um, they, they were ahead. Um, but as you say, I think we finished the stronger. There were a lot of substitutions in the second half. Great character by the lads, as you said. Wonderful. And you also you've got to consider the players that we had missing today. Um, you know, which is just testament to the squad we've got uh, and the spirit as well out there. 
So it's going to be a, a tough week for me looking at how the players train. Uh, I've got so many selections that I can put in. Um, one of my questions to you about the end was going to be, have you got a good idea what your first team is going to be for next Saturday? Well, I thought I did, leading up to today, but um, obviously with today's performance in mind and how they've all reacted from being sub and pre-season, you have to rest them. It's not about dropping them. It's about resting them to make sure that you get so many 90 minutes and so many 45s because we don't want to burn them out. Like Sam Davidson today, who's possibly been an outstanding setback for us at pre-season. Rested today, so we can get, try and get ready next week. Then Declan comes in and um, you know, yep. does well. Yep. Uh, and then you've got Billy's played up front, he can play anywhere at the back. You know, Scott, he can be the captain. Um, so, yeah, I've got some great options. So, yeah, uh, yeah I thought I did before today, but it's going to be a interesting week. Yep, and it must be really nice to have those sort of um, decisions. So next Saturday we've got our first league game which is here against Bishops Cleave. And Bishops Cleave were one of the surprise teams from last season. Um, they did a lot better than many people expected, but they were a bit of a hit and miss side, so you never quite know what you're going to get with them. But a couple of questions for you about players. We haven't seen Dan Can in any of the pre-season games, Matty. What's the, the story there? No, he tore his calf last season, uh, so he's having rehab at the moment. He hopes to start some work very soon. I don't think we'll see him much before uh, the end of August. It's just a matter of just making sure he comes back at the right time. I knew when we signed him that he was going to be a, a few months waiting for him, uh, but when he comes back, he'll um, and it's definitely some power up there. Yep, sure. yep, and what about Jamie, Jamie Davidson? We saw him walking round here today. Well, when it happened and his ankle come up, I was fearing the worst, you know, four, five, six weeks. But uh, the physio this week with John, the ankle's gone down, it's still swollen. Uh, he's walking better, so I think it'll be a race against times for Saturday. Uh, but we'll just see how he is Tuesday, then we'll see how he is Thursday. Um, but again, he's been very bright pre-season. Yeah, yeah, good. So let's hope he is back and, and fit. So um, we lost 3-2 today, but it was a, a good performance against the Gosport side, to say, two leagues above us. So the lads the lads did well, did us proud. We've had a tremendous pre-season, I think, and we really look looking forward to the league with great anticipation. So, Matty, thank you very much thank again very today, much. and uh, all the best for the lads for next week. Thank you. Cheers, man.